do you see a time when printed books will be a, I don't know, an inadequate substrate for the stories you'd like to tell? You have a multimedia project called The Mongoloid. Or Mon Mongoliad, Mon forgive Mongoliad. me. The Mongoliad, forgive it's a me. common mistake. Yes, The Mongoliad. An experiment designed to explore how stories might be told differently. Mm -hmm. So is this something you're genuinely interested in? Or again, is the Mongoliad simply a experiment? Yeah, it is an experiment, but it's, it's really just a book. So one of the things that we settled on pretty early in that project is that books work, prose works, just plain old non-interactive, non-multimedia stories work just great. And um, uh, it doesn't mean you can't use the internet to distribute them. Um, and so that is a serialized uh, book project. Um, and it's just using the internet in the way that uh, the publishers of, of Charles Dickens or Alexander Dumas did in the 19th century. So um, there are some multimedia-ish add-ons that you can get to if you want to click out to them, but they're not hitting you over the head in the middle of, of reading the, the story. So my answer is that I think people will be reading straight prose novels you know, a thousand years from now. I don't know what they'll be reading them on, um, but, uh, but I think it's a medium that works and will continue to work. Which recent technologies and scientific advances have particularly caught your fancy or inspired you to want to write? So what, what has been striking and unexpected to you recently? Or maybe not even well, unexpected, but striking. I mean, in terms of things that have actually shown up in my writing, um, you know, the last thing that I wrote was, was ReamD, and in that, uh, you know, uh, massively multiplayer games are, are a big deal. And, and just the, the sheer uh, pervasiveness and massive commercial success of gaming systems that are all rooted in Dungeons and Dragons. You know, so when I was going to, to college near here um, in the late 70s, we would play D&D &D in the, the dorm room, and it was these crappy little manuals with programmer art in them. And, and these kind of simple rules systems uh, played with dice. And, um, and that's become this unfathomably gigantic industry. Um, all, of the, all of the games basically are using a D&D based system for stats and you know, hit points and, uh, and all of that. Um, so um, that's kind of amazing. That, that that got so big, and um, and then just the, the kind of ubiquity of, uh, of of gadgets and all that they can do. And this is not a very original, interesting thing to say, but um, just um, I was traveling around over the weekend, and at one point I pulled my phone out of my pocket probably five times within two minutes to to do different things, to check messages or make a phone call or take a picture or whatever. And that uh, is amazing to me.